Okay, guys, so welcome back to another episode. I'm here with a big man, Abu Torab. Guys, episode number two, yeah? Come episode on, episode number two. number two. Guys, check him out. He is my mentor, the big okay. boy. Obviously, Thank when I reach 100k or something, he's not my mentor anymore. But okay. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Would you consider getting into med by, let's say, doing graduate entry or like applying to a different course like biomed or something, do three years, do a bachelor's, mm. and then get into like uh, post grad med? Would you Post-grad do that? Med. Or would you, or would you, would you like take a gap year, maybe redo the A levels, do the entire application? Mm. Which one would you say is actually better? Like in your position, what would you say? Okay, so if I'm being genuine, like honestly, I didn't rehearse the answer. Obviously, we told him what questions to ask me. So just in case you guys are thinking, this is stage, stage, no. Me personally, I would not take graduate medicine. I have, I have a video on like Kings and um, Queen Mary and the schools that are required to get into graduate medicine, and it's honestly just ridiculous. For example. The UCAT average to get into Queen Mary is like 660 undergraduate. We're now to get an offer or to get an interview? To get an interview, like. No, no. Average. Yes, average. No, because I know some people who got like 650 maybe. No, but or it's, like 50, it's 50 50 UCAT, 50 50 uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, UCAS. Yeah. Do you remember? So I'm just saying yeah, average yeah, yeah. is 660. Um, 666, 667, or something along those lines. Now, when you go check out graduate medicine, it's it's crazy. It's 720 or 720 or something like that. Uh, just to get an interview. So there are guys like obviously at like Medic, um, and I, yeah, but these guys are beasts. Do you understand? So if they have, I'm just saying these guys are honestly just beasts, and then they're able to get that sort I mean, you're, of score. You're a beast as well, bro. You're no, no, no. no. Listen, 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 listen. Relax, Look, relax. I'll, I'll plug no, 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 guys. Guys, then no, I leave it. Okay. But all I'm saying, is, I'm, I'm not a beast, but these guys are honestly, they're killers. Do you understand? So, um, yeah, so that's them. And I'm just, I honestly think if I was to take the UK again, I honestly don't think I'd be scoring super high, especially enough to beat all the other applicants. Do you understand? No, no, no. Okay, okay. So that's one aspect. The other aspect is that it will take seven years. Or for example, if I have to take a gap year and then go into a, an undergraduate course in like biomedical science or biology or radiography. Applied medical science. You can do anything really. Basically. I get you, but it's, it's honestly just too long. Seven years of your but life. One, you do have a benefit, by the way. Let's mention some of the benefits. Okay, 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 Because on. one of the benefits I, I read in some article uh, is that a lot of the guys who are, uh, what's it called, um, apply later and they do like post grad, what happens is that you're more, like statistically, they see that you're more likely to be a better doctor. Do you know what I mean? Because you work harder, like you mature more. Do you know what I mean? A hundred percent, hundred percent, and yeah, it does come with the other knowledge benefits in terms of like um, knowing biological processes better. A hundred percent, especially if, if maturity. Because imagine you're getting into med properly and you're dissecting bodies, whatever. Hundred percent, but you could take and you're it. You're like 21, 22. So you're you're way more mature. You understand more. You know what you're doing. I so. I get you, but it's like honestly, it's just an extra year slapped on top of the yeah. traditional. Fa- it's plus, it, plus is. I don't know, I feel like you might be like, oh, I've got the UCAT to do, I need to get a 2-1 at least. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To no. get, you need to get a 2-1 and then you're like, oh, okay. And then imagine you finish three years, you graduate with your mates and then you're like, okay, cool, another four years. Do you know what I mean? It puts you back like mentally and all of that. So so there's that. And the other question um, that I was thinking about as well, actually, what's, you know, obviously because you are planning to take that route 100 percent uh i might uh, yeah to be honest right now it depends on the a-level grades obviously uh we don't really know right now it's july we, we legit don't know what's going to happen like we're all in this position really like, we don't know what grades we're going to get it depends on the teacher or whatever it is but basically what it is is that uh i might go into applied medical sciences or biomedical sciences and then again that is three years is quite long but i feel like i don't know man after that, maybe if I'm motivated enough. Oops, I'm trying to take I, my juice, yeah? Bro, he he, he, my, bought, me the, he my, bought me the juice, he bro, bought me the juice. My one's fully, it's full. Yeah, no, you no, finish no, your no, one, no, sir. No, thank you, bro. Anyway, going back to what I was saying is, um, it's long, bro, 100% it's long. I would rather want to get into med straight away. But, I don't know, man. Right now, I feel like it all depends on the grades. So I can't make a, like a full-on decision, a mm. final decision on what's going to happen. But if I do, if I was to get into that route, then there is nothing you can do about it, really. But I wouldn't, I would rather do that, guys, than to take an entire year out and then do my A-levels again. I feel like it would mentally put me back because everyone else, you see all your mates at uni, uh, you know, in the next stages uh, of their life and you're just stuck mm. back to your same school, secondary or whatever, yeah, and you're literally doing your exams all over again. I feel like it's just too much, man. Like an entire year gone, bro. It's too much. 100%. Really. 
one thing that I'd ask you, Abitarab, is that would you ever plan on studying in like Bulgaria? Bro, why are you asking me some silly questions, bro? No, no, honestly. I, I wouldn't. You nah, wouldn't. nah, nah, no. Because nah. I feel like, honestly, first because, of all... Because, you know, un, 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 understand, understand this first. Like, yeah, it may seem like a distant, crazy thing to do. But at the end of the day, if you cannot get into medicine here, you can't... It's easier, I'd say it's easier at the moment right now to get into medicine at Bulgaria and it doesn't mean that you're gonna oh, be we know, we know someone that's trying to get into dentistry in Bulgaria no name is mentioned yes 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 yes, yes yeah, yeah yeah he's a very so, good brother not yeah. if uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. but basically yeah. no but I'm not gonna lie I wouldn't want to leave my family and then just go somewhere in a completely different country like if you went outside of London it would be a completely different story like you can take the, the train the yeah. bus whatever the car yeah and then you what can go what about the Bulgarian Uchtis uh, okay, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, now, yeah, yeah, okay um, yeah. but anyway, going back to what I was saying, you keep on interrupting no, me every time. Whenever I'm making a good I'm sorry, point, I'm you can interrupt I'm sorry, me. I'm sorry, I'm but anyway, what was that? Um, yeah, bro, I feel like it's too much. Not Bulgarian, I don't even speak Bulgarian or whatever. No, but you you get taught, a part of the course no, is no, that you get it, taught Bulgarian. In English, the yes, 100%, but you need patient doctor interaction, no? Mm -hmm. And the Bulgarian citizens are not obliged to speak English. Is it? Yeah, so you learn Bulgaria, Bulgarian at part of your course. Bro, I can speak pretty much five languages, so I don't really care about okay, that. Okay, no, I yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, 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 okay. No, he's the guy for Arabic. No, 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 no. He's the guy. Um, but, no, bro, honestly, I wouldn't. It's too much for me. No, for me, it's too much. I'm so saying, it, if you want to do that, it's completely fine. But for me, because a lot of people, bro, they don't want to leave their families, go to a completely different country, which is obviously, it's not that far. It's in Europe, isn't it? So that's not a problem. But I feel like, I don't know, man, it's, it's just a bit too much for me. Personally, it's too much. But isn't that exactly like going to university in accommodation, let's just say, like away from London or not in London? No, first of all, it's closer. You can just take a train a few hours and whatever. Hey, go out, go away. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, there was a lot of flight. Yes, I but bro, going back to what I was saying, nah, nah. Honestly, Bulgaria is, is just too much, bro. It's, it's honestly too much. I feel like my parents won't agree with us well. They'll be like, you know. And one, one thing I want to mention though, what's, what's important is that staying in London, I think the, it could be subjective, as I say, but it helps with your faith, with your Iman, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're staying with your brothers, with like in the area, with your parents, your Iman is mm. going to be there. Mm. And if you're going somewhere, like a lot of the times this happens, and I know people that when they go outside of London or when, when they, whenever they get too much freedom. They go to the dark side. Yeah, they yeah. go to the dark side. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they yeah, yeah. But you know, may, may Allah guide them and may Allah guide us. I mean, uh, I mean. That's the most important thing. But bro, honestly, going back to what I was saying, it's, nah, it's too much. Not for me. You, you can do that. You want to do that? Mm, honestly, if I'm being real, I'm, I, I'm not one to take it. I don't think I'll take it. Not primarily due to um, family, family being a reason. Uh, it's not, I'd say that's not me. Um, on the basis that everything's in London, eh? you know, like uh, everything that I'd need is in London and the amenities and facilities here like i'm talking about like just if you want to jam there's a place if you want to go study there's a place there's youtubers here there's you have to get basically properly used to the entire place it's going to take time bro it's, mm. it's not an easy thing yeah 100%. but at the end of the day like imagine you go there you do your six years course and everything then you might ask yourself you might look back and be like what's actually worth it do you know what i mean but at the end of the day you need to think about it. if you cannot get in here and you really want to be a doctor and it's available how over there. You are. No, but you will be a doctor. And the good thing about Bulgaria is that for many Bulgarian universities, you will do six years worth of studying, but one of the years will count to your foundation years. So I'm not sure if you guys know that. Hopefully, I'll link a channel that was on Anas Nur Ali's platform. Um, they're really, really good. Like, I know that they help in the process of people getting to Bulgaria. And the grade requirements are also lower. And... What's, what's it like? I think, I think you can get in with ABB. I think you can get in with ABB. Which isn't... It's not bad. But it's not you, bad, you, but you can apply to your King's... Uh, what's it called? What's, what's that? EMDB. Extended, yeah, extended uh, medical degree. And that's yeah. like six years. That's like ABB, isn't it? That's I, ABB. I believe, well, that's yeah, ABB. yeah. Because yeah. well, when I checked it... But again, I think that, that should be quite smart. Because honestly, I didn't apply to that. Yeah? Mm. Because I, I didn't know about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I found out that you could apply to yeah. it, I realized that they told me that you have to be part of K plus or whatever. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. Or something no. like med. No, it, no, 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 you don't. Bro, that's what someone told me who applied there. They, they, they probably waffled you, mate. Okay, they did. Maybe, no, no, no. Maybe they did. They, they, did no, they did waffle you, bro. Because I know people who... To, you do not need K plus again, for that. But the chances of getting in is very small on that. Yeah, but nonetheless, it's 
It's something you should go for. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. if you're in a situation where you need to go for that. You know what I mean? Hundred percent, hundred percent. But also, bro, I feel like for anyone who's taking the UK, if you don't do too good in the UK, you still got the beam up to do quite good, isn't it? Because right yeah, now, because yeah, yeah. right now it's UK season. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, I think I'm not gonna lie. There are lots of ways you can get into med. That's not a problem, isn't it? Because there were. It just depends on what you're willing to do to mm. get in. Mm, no, hundred percent. Because you know there were people with BTEC who can get into med. Shall I tell you how? Yeah. No, oh, today we're gonna find out something new. Yeah, no, going. Yeah. Are you trying to violate VTEC? I honestly don't know about Bro, VTEC you can getting do, into med. No, no, not straight into med. Okay. So what you do is that, like, I know one of my guys. He's one year older than us. He he came from Italy, so he didn't know any English. Mm. He took his GCC in one year, and obviously he didn't know any English. So he just got C's and stuff like that. Yeah. So what he did is that he 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 did BTEC in science or something, okay. and that helped him to get into. I think some uni, I, I don't know what it's called, but it's not, I don't think it's a Russell Group uni. He applied, he did BTEC science, whatever. Mm. And then he applied to some non-Russell Group uni and he did biomedical sciences. Okay. And then from there, if you get 2-1, yeah. which is the minimum yeah, requirement, yeah. then maybe I think you can get into med. Yeah, but yeah, I, I but so. again, it's quite hard and it's quite, it's, it's not something you see, it's not common. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because the majority of people who go into biomedical sciences is, they're in hope that they get into medicine after. Yeah. I'm not sure who's the first one who sort of kick, kick-started this, um, not ideology, but this no, no, framework. No. To, I'm going to go do biomedical sciences, then after that no, somehow... No, the, the post-grad thing was there already. It was the there, but did... bro, you need to understand, it's hard, man. No, it's, of course. It is so much harder. You might as well just sit out here and you'll be finished earlier as well. And also, mm. you know, in the... I don't know about that, bro. You know, in the postgraduate. You know, you're funding your degree. You know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are, you are, you are. That's so, true. guys, that's one thing that you don't really clock in. You sort of get overwhelmed with the fact that, oh, I'm getting into med, I'm getting into this. You have to fund your second degree. Your first degree, obviously, and it. Um, you can like, take a student note if you want to, basically. Yeah. Um, but the second degree, you can't. You have to fund it yourself. The last year of the NHS, like they pay that off, but I think it's three years that you have to pay out of your own pocket. So uh, three or even four. Postgrad is normally three or four. Yeah, it's four, but the last year NHS pays off, no? Yeah, the last Maybe, year. I, I don't know. NHS, NHS okay. pays off the last year. So assuming you're studying here in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Assuming you're studying in the UK. And also one other thing in Bulgaria, um, I think it's six thousand pounds or six thousand euros per year. Ooh, um, so again, uh, yeah, so hopefully it has been quite informative, no? I think yeah, it's yeah, I think so. Again, as I said, the summary is I, it's, it's much harder, first of all, to get in med doing postgrad. So there are two options you can do either postgrad or retake a year. It's up to you guys, it's up to you, honestly, it's subjective. Uh, it's probably easier to take a year out. Do you, would you say so? I would say that. I would yeah. say the biggest advice that I'd give if you do not make it in med. Um, and, you want to get in. and you really want to get in that first time would be to take an apprenticeship. So apply to two apprenticeships early year 13 and have something that, let's just say you do get the grades but you didn't do well in the UCAT. You can wait out that one year, reapply via the next admission cycle and you have make the grades. Make some money, whatever. Make some money, support yourself, look after yourself but also get ready for med. Um, save some money along alongside that one year of... Uh, essential like grinding um and hopefully hopefully you'll pay off like yeah, don't yeah. just sit down be an egg just chilling at home your life is more than just being a doctor you can help people in other ways as well there's also like volunteering you can do in that year yeah bro not everyone who's working uh, with surgeons in the hospital has a medicine degree like for example clinical perfusionists they don't have a medicine like mm. degree you know yeah yeah but guys, anyone who's watching this, I assume you guys are probably like students who want to take the UCA or you're not in that position yet. So the best advice is work hard, get the grades, get in straight away. That's the best advice. That's why he's called Abu Torab, the master. Okay. Do you get me? I've nicknamed him now. Okay, thank you, thank you. But anyway, guys, um, that's the end of today's um, episode. Um, you might as well take over the mic and call it. I'd be terribly cringy. No, got, got, huh? got the little mic. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But anyway, guys, um, catch you guys in a bit. Right. And shout okay, out. Good, guys. And Lipton. We'll see you in the next. Ne yep, next video. Hello. You see the way that he's forced himself in the next episode. Joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking.